Hey guys, Andy here with another episode. I've attempted to have a pretty productive uh, weekend with the family. I um, had heaps of fun. Uh, yesterday I went to the playground. Also went to the supermarket with my daughter and pulled out my phone camera. Um, I know it's not quite my DSLR in a public space, but we're getting there. And so just working on those mental blocks. Since releasing um, a video 11 days ago called Cody Wana made me do this, um, I've been a little bit paralyzed uh, with my shooting, been working on a concept for a whole week, and it's just blown way out of proportion. And yeah, I've, I just really want to talk about this. I just, yeah, I started thinking about what you guys wanted to see instead of what I wanted to make. It's become a bit, yeah, like I think I used the word paralyzing. I've sort of caught myself saying things like, you know, I'm going to start on Monday, let's do it then. Um, one of the things that started happening is that I started looking at my sub count, I've been looking at my views on the video, and, you know, it was fun for those first few couple of days, but since I haven't released many videos since then, um, all of those external metrics have gone focusing on the wrong metrics and with that came um, anxiety um, and it wasn't until today while mowing the lawns um, and yeah I mean you can tell by this time lapse it's out of focus that yeah I wasn't even planning for it to come but it hit me I, I realized what was happening and yeah it hit me that um, instead of using um, there's videos and this platform as a tool for self-worth and discovery. I've been substituting self-worth for other worth. I've been waiting for you guys to let me know what's working and what's not. Yeah, Dr. Wayne Dyer says it best. Self-worth cannot be verified by others. You are worthy because you say it is so. If you depend on others for your value, it is other worth. I haven't been able to make what I've wanted to make. The thing I kept finding I've been telling myself is that well I'll start when you know the weather's good I'll start and that's exactly why I hadn't done the lawns until today when probably there have been moments where I could have done it sooner uh, another book I've been reading by David and Tom Kelly uh, creative confidence um, sheds light on this language I've been using and they share a story about uh, the ac academic director at uh, Stanford's D school Bernie Roth and he's got this exercise where he tells his students to try and grab a water bottle from him um, and none of them are successful and he then reframes the challenge and says take it just do it phenomenally you know um, everyone can grab the bottle and one of the ways that he reframes it is to say stop trying and just do it it's as if the day is for attempting and sometime in the vague future is when we'll actually try I'm gonna st start on Monday just won't cut it what can I do what can we do um, to change this and I'm going to be as lazy as a fox and borrow again from David and Tom. They've got five action catalyst points that will be super helpful to implement. So first one um, is get help. Sometimes you know you might need that friend who's a little bit more confident um, to be standing there with you while you hold the camera. The second one is create peer pressure. I've actually used this one really really well um, in the video that I made. Um, Cody one that made me do this. I actually put some stuff up on my Instagram stories and I made my followers make me accountable. Um, yeah, and the second one, which is probably connected, is gather an audience. And lots of us on this platform um, are doing that. We're trying to find an audience, we're trying to find people um, who are interested in the thoughts and ideas that we bring. Um, the fourth one is allow yourself to do a bad job. There's been lots of talk about, you know, quantity versus quality, and I think you don't get to better without doing okay. Yeah, Casey Neistat says, don't let good get in the way of perfect. So he smashes that upload button more than anyone, and actually, no, there's other people who smash it more. Um, five is um, lower the stakes, and you know, maybe you know, you want to reach an audience of. 1 million, 100,000, 10,000, um, maybe you want to solve real hunger, um, you know, volunteer at a soup kitchen, make a 5 minute video instead of a, you know, 90 minute feature, by focusing on what you can control, which is the number of videos you make, um, or ideas that you share with the world, it's a real good way to lower the stakes. Um, if we focus too much on sub counts and views and, and all of this sort of thing, um, we give control over, um, we have no control over our creative process. And that's the whole point of this video for me, is that I want to use this mindset shift, this this action and, and active 
participation. Um, I want to control what's meaningful and worthwhile for me to do and um, I can only control the number of videos I make. My gut instinct is that by focusing on the stuff that I can control, I'll have less anxiety about my creative process. Okay, um, we're going to wrap the video up there. Um, I hope you learned something with me um, and all I can say is uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.